Hello, I'm Bob Kucher, Sales Manager for Ace Tollwell. We've been designing, manufacturing, and distributing our mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic drive spreader systems and commercial grade pushers for over 65 years. It's made out of 304 stainless steel. It's a single piece sheet and it's fully welded on every corner and every seam all the way around the unit. We have built these units up to 22 feet long and held 18 yards of material. So we've, we custom build all of these units for whatever the end user wants. The hopper is supported on both sides by gussets. And depending on the length of the unit, we will add a gusset approximately every 25 to 30 inches. They are welded to the hopper to support the, the 45 degree slant. We have a balanced lifting beam that we weld in across the hopper for support. We have uh, folding screen assemblies with 3 8 inch woven wire mesh mounted to a 2 inch galvanized steel rod with hinges. Welded in all four corners are tie downs, hooks, and also lifting eyes. We do provide different types of lighting systems per the dealer or contractor request. Uh, it might, whether it be a seven inch flasher, uh, spotlight so that they can see the conveyor system down below, or, or strobe lights. We do all of those types of things as options. Two co different conveyor systems. We offer an 18 inch wide system and a 24 inch wide system. Both systems are driven by inch and a half hardened steel shafts. The back drive is a 25 to 1 gearbox or an optional 50 to 1 gearbox which would give you more torque. The conveyor system attached to the inch and a half shafts are four eight tooth cast iron sprockets. We have a unique design. Uh, we have a take up bearing on an inch and a half shaft and it is self adjusting to a certain length and then you would just tighten the take up bolt down when it's exhausted the length and it self adjust for another period of time. Torwell offers an option to install a pony motor, which is an 18 horsepower Honda motor that gets mounted down here, and it provides the, the entire hydraulic system. Instead of using truck hydraulics, we'll use the pony motor so that you don't have to provide uh, hydraulics from the truck itself. The, they can be used for plows or wing plows for whatever the capacity is of the truck. An option to the handheld gate door opening is a crank up type chute assembly that brings the, the uh, rod down to the, dry, the passenger side to the ground. So that instead of having to loosen the nut and do this by hand, it can be on a, on a system similar to a uh, trailer jack so that you can turn and it opens and shuts the gate door. Other options that we provide to these systems are calcium systems, calcium tanks to the side that are mounted in bracketry, Hydraulic or electric pumps deliver the uh, calcium to the conveyor chain. We offer a remote grease bank. We actually plumb um, tubing to each one of the fittings and bring it here on a bracket and you can, you can grease the, the bearings from back here. Mounting options for the large towwell units are dump mount, chassis mount, and roll off type mount systems. And our discharge assembly this is a chassis chute, so in this case, this unit could be mounted on the truck rails or on the chassis part of the truck. Um, the difference is the height of the chute and the width of the chute. We make an 18 inch and a 24 inch model, so we would need to make this to fit an 18. In this particular case, it's a 24 inch model um, and a chassis height, which is about a six inch height. The optimum height for a spinner disc off the ground is anywhere from 12 to 25 inches. So if this unit gets put or installed on a dump truck, then the throat of the chute just becomes longer by a foot. The options on our chute is that we have a standard mounting slide-in chute, which is easy to remove, or we have an assembly which is a crank-up chute. It gets it up and folds it up out of the way if you want to fold and want to store the unit on the ground. So it would just take the unit and flip it up and get it out of the way. In the back of the spreader, Torwell has designed a very unique feature. We have sloped the rear panel to the front of the spreader 
allowing us to form a barrier as to how the chute and spinner assembly gets attached to the spreader. Our competitions uh, conveyor systems come out and take a 90 degree turn to the bottom, all unprotected from backing into snowbanks, curbings, or even being bumped from the rear by another vehicle. Our design allows us to extend the hopper out a foot and a half and form a solid base channel so that we can install our chute and spinner assembly protected underneath. Very unique. No one in the industry does it.